All right, guys, so what I have here are two mysterious boxes. These are lots of 500 Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we bought on eBay. We? I, I ain't buying We as in me and Paul who would like to see you guys squirm. I have no money. So. Inside these boxes are basically random cards. We don't know what's in here, you don't know what's in here, but you each get one. You're going to take a look at what's inside. You're going to each build a deck and you're gonna duel. Can I, can I, can I, can I run my, can I run my side? You'll run whatever in this box. If he gets a side, I have to draw on first turn. Well, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so we got this 500 uh, account eBay lot here. Mystery. And y'all already know everything that I do in, uh, on this channel is scaled, so it's gonna be a whole, I don't bunch, know about of, that. whole bunch of man eater bugs and D spells. Oh, wow, never mind. The first thing I see is a Zodiac card. I'm already excited. This is 500 cards? This is 500. I, I mean, hey, I'm not gonna count it, but whatever. Um, I don't, I don't even know where to start with this. Oh snap. If we have a whole steel swimmer, they can play steel swimmers. I don't care. Can I play band cards? Anything that's in here is allowed. Okay, cool. We went old school. This used to be like a really cool stall monster back in the day. 1800 was your cap. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. I know. How many cards is deck supposed to be? 40? Like 40 actually, cards. Or, or, or 60. 40 to 60? It's you, so probably like 60. I should need this card in real life. Thank you a lot. Are there any extra? Okay, there's a synchro. I had a fusion somewhere. It was, uh, hey, you got a monster reborn. Like, that's actually a staple. I actually got a monster reborn and see but I want to find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to pull it out right now. It's a magic card, not a spell card. Oh, wow, really? <clears throat> yes. Okay, all right. Y'all y'all, y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Hope I didn't damage any cards. I actually cut into the box a lot. Okay. Rubber bands. I wonder if these are all from the same set. Whoa. That's old. Lightning load, Metro Whip, Gladiator, Proving Grounds, Super Soldier Synthesis. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything that looks cool to me. But Wait, well, we should have bought this when we were building the first <laughs> deck. What more? What a copper? What kiwi? What cobra? Dude, I can't believe these are magic cards. I got unknown synchro on that. You know, if I had some synchros other than those two. Yeah. I feel like I'm going through a Yu-Gi-Oh yearbook right now. Like Man. it's just, just very, very cards from- right? Who knows what this card is? Do you know what this card is? Like, how much time am I giving? Cause this is- You got about 15 minutes. <clears throat> That's not enough. Okay, so Alex, you've seen a little bit of what both people are working with. What do you think? Well, I'm thinking that this is going to be a pretty competitive game. Neither one really knows what the other one's bringing to the table. And they're both trying to make the best decisions possible. Who's your money on, though? I gotta put my money on Trell because um, I'm seeing a lot of organization from him. He's making calls that he thinks are going to make his deck more streamlined. Though he is going for a 60 card deck, and that's a really strange choice. We'll have to see how that goes. Where do you start with deck building, like, theory? Uh, honestly, I start with uh, experience. Um, I've been playing the game for about 17 years, and so I know uh, most, if not all, of these cards here. So literally, I just, I know what they do. With that being said, it doesn't mean that they're great, so that's, that's an issue, too. High attack, normal summons. Few, like, removal comes second. And then third, generic, useful, traps. But that's the name of the game, and I'm, I'm trying to do. This, this lot does not have a lot of boss monsters, and boss monsters just means big monsters put on the field. This was gonna be mine, and then I read that you have to you have to attribute steel swarm monsters for it. Yeah, this is all that I've got. And you. the problem with this is that in this random game is that I have to they have to survive, and I can't promise that they're gonna. Oh, survive yeah, it's just looking. Sometimes I see cards like Shirinui style synthesis, right? Right. Yeah. And then the like the next card might end up being. Octoburser. So the randomness is just. Yeah, every time I think, oh, I have enough cards for an archetype and I can do something, I'm wrong. So I thought this would be a really fun, exciting challenge, especially for the viewers at home, mostly because, uh, I mean, you know, technically everybody's done like sealed challenges and stuff like that before. And those are fun, you know, you should definitely do them, but like, 
eBay lots are completely unpredictable. You know what I mean? Like, there's no telling what you're gonna get in a box of cards on eBay. I paid like 15 bucks, now it's just like 500 cards. And from what we've seen so far, these cards are like not even, like I was afraid it was gonna be like, okay, it's all from like the last four sets or something and they just put, you know, they just put them all together. But no, it's, it's, I mean, we've seen magic cards, not spell cards, like magic cards. So I'm really actually excited to see like where this goes and I have no clue who's gonna win. These lots are extremely random. Uh, <clears throat> and so, and, and I'm realizing that like there's, for me there's a shortage of spell cards and then the few that I have there's a shortage of good spell cards. There's no strategy with these monsters, most of them. I'm looking at a dark strategy. I have a mythic tomato and I have a dark general freed. He can search dark monster 1500 less attack, and he can search, I believe, any level four dark monster. Basically, you know, you already know me. I'm always down for like the, the random stuff, but uh, I did find like I had like quite a few kind of staple few, looking uh, things. Spellcaster types. So I got spellcasters plus. Like, oh, I see what like, I see what's free going summons on type here. things. So the last group spots in my deck are just gonna be monsters that these guys can search. Hopefully they're gonna be good. I'm gonna go back to these cards one more time and see if I find any, like, I guess there's, there's always a Vice or Death. So stuff like that. Um, this, uh, it actually, I can actually use the normal summon effect of it <laughs> if I choose to, to like stack my deck to get more monsters if I need them. Did you see all of this? This is the rough. What I made is a diamond. This one is like type of things where you don't care if you win or lose. Like uh, for me personally, it's just one of the things is how well can I build a deck in a short amount of time with no knowledge of anything before? It requires knowledge of this game that uh, not many have. I think the biggest issue with combos per se is the lack of boss monsters. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm probably gonna lose horribly, mm -hmm. but it's okay. You gotta describe your deck in three words. I won't die. I can't lose. All right, gentlemen. It is time for the duel, the final challenge. Alex, you're gonna miss it. I'm coming. <clears throat> Good luck, duelist. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, you said you're going first? Yeah. Let's see what kind of spice you came up with. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Definitely got a card in my I will normal summon Buster wow. Dragon. That's pretty big actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it's pretty that's kinda big. Set one card. Mm -hmm. And I attack directly now. And my turn. I'm gonna set one here. And I'm gonna play around Big Knight, so I'm gonna set one here. <laughs> I'm gonna set one Can't here. Still have a blue sky. Just in case. And I'm gonna say, uh, in phase. Okay. In turn. <laughs> summon Nico Seca. <laughs> so, <laughs> summon Nico Seca. Normal summon. Are you, is that the gir the burst genetrix? Yes. Wow. For the spice. Wow, the spice is real. Unless the dragon will attack your face down. We play a safe round here. The bow wounds. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you had three bow wounds? I actually had five. But I can only play three. <laughs> <laughs> but I can only play three. <laughs> Don't judge me. You got a lustre dragon. It's bigger than anything in my deck right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm using both effects. So channeling one, channeling two. Go for All it. Right, so. You fixing hands around here. We are trying to. <laughs> Burst in the tricks will attack this baboon. Affect the baboon, the special baboon from deck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to start a chain. Draw for turn. That's interesting. Uh, stand by phase anything. Now you good. I'm gonna uh, enter main phase. Tribute summon. Oh snap! I know, right? No, tribute summon. Right. Oh, the first. Or a red eyes arch fiend. Oh, oh, he's big. Oh, he's no. big, big. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna attempt to swing at your uh, luster dragon. Set a card. Oh, probably got any permanence. So I gotta put this over here. Yeah. Set a card here. <laughs> this is so random. This is very. I, I feel <laughs> like it is. Like this is so random. I'm not sure if that makes it good or bad. Look at my graveyard. Like, what's that spell called? We have three of the same monsters in the graveyard. You can like. Oh yeah. Um, symbols of symbol. heritage. Yeah. Symbol. I will set. <clears throat> switch to defensive mode. Mm -hmm. Pass. Going to normal summon this. Yes. 
Uh, since it's been normal summer, I'm going to activate this effect just to blow up the uh, burst in the tricks. Yeah, burst in the tricks. And I will chain. Oh, crap. A special summon my Mechloid Emperor Wise. What does that even do? <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? So, if you uh, destroy a face up uh, monster by card effect on my side of the field, I can special summon him. His me his mech lord effect doesn't matter because there's no synchros? mech lords. Oh, the mech lord, okay. and, oh yeah, and there's no synchro. Okay, so <laughs> but uh, it can make sure I read that correctly. <laughs> Once per turn, during either player's turn, when an opponent's spell card is activated, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. What's the attack of that? Twenty-five. Oh, crap! I'm gonna move towards battle. I swing at the face down monster. Scapegoat. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> oh my god. We're getting tokens. So you get three tokens and it dies. That's crazy. Right, I'm just gonna use these three random traps. I'm about to summon a guy card over here. <laughs> if you got a guy card in this lot, I'm just about to. Oh my god, bro. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I walked away and came back, and now there are three trap cards in the monster. <laughs> yes. Tokens. Yes. They are tokens. Like he is oh, playing. No, he's playing Destiny Board or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset by that dang on Mechlord. I just did not see that coming. <laughs> like, I mean, granted, it's a random lot. It could have been anything, but I just would have thought of anything else. Right. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate Tribute to the Doomed. Wow. That just happened. <laughs> How'd you get something cool like that? It's super rare, too. Wow. And it's super rare. Yeah. It's it's random a lot. <laughs> random. I will attack with 2,500. Who's that battle planner? I feel like Magic Cylinder's about to hit me. Uh, yeah, dude, my trap card, Paleozoic Dynamiscus. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna banish that. <laughs> We're just gonna. Can we? Can we okay, we can't. Okay. Alright, uh, when you go to your main phase two, I'm gonna activate uh, Ultimate Offering. Uh -oh. And pay 500 to normal summon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, so then I'm gonna uh, drop a turn. Monster Reborn, and target the uh, Archfiend of Lightning, <laughs> whatever it's called, Archfiend of Lightning. I'm going to normal summon it again. I'm going to use this effect. If you got another mech we're about to have some problems. <laughs> I don't have a hand. Oh, I'll give you one. 1850. 1850. Um, and then 2500. 2500. It's in turn. Let's go. Draw. He can do this every turn, can't he? Can I not get a break? Special summon. B.E.S. Uh, I can't read his name anymore. It would have been nice if I didn't have to deal with Raigeki over here. Well, I mean, I mean, it's the best card I ever pulled. Partially the lightning activated effect. <laughs> Attack for 1850. 1850 and 25 per game. And when I declare that attack, I'm going to change Firecracker from the hand into a thousand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man! Wow. <laughs> Aww. Whoa, your trap cards. Oh my god. So, like, they were trap cards. bluff. Quick play, but oh. I didn't have any monsters. I didn't. I didn't get any traps. Uh, I really would have liked some. So I had base damage. So. Actually, I got. I had two tribute to the dunes in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't don't feel bad. I have a full set of these in the deck. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, so that's the duel. Trell wins with his. Uh... <laughs> yeah. What's your deck called? <clears throat> deck okay. deck title. What's on your deck list form? Do not your... die. So, quick deck profiles of these decks. Let's see what, what were you guys working with? That was supposed to be my ace. We did see him. He he tried to put in work. It didn't work out. I had two MK3s. They special summoned themselves. So I figured I, if I could have run more, I would have. But get just getting bodies on board was important. Two tribute to the dunes. Spot removal. You can't really. I did have some things I wanted to pull off. And I just wasn't any, I was nowhere close to. I ran a bit of a dark package in here. And I call it a package, but that's, I'm using that term as loosely as humanly possible. So, I had Mr. Tomato and Freed, which could, uh, which they can search dark monsters. I had Scapegoat, Vicer Des, and oh, I missed one. Where is he? And uh, Jane, Lights One General. I knew that these cards would, could help me search these cards out if I needed them, when I needed them. Uh, did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had Cold Wave. That oh, would have been cool. Yeah. Mirage Dragon's cool too, but it didn't come up either. Flamebell Fire Dogs didn't have any targets for it. Burden of the Mighty, Bottomless Trap Hole, Giant True Nade, Metal Morph didn't show up, Card Destruction. Gene Warped, he would have been cool. Dark Hole, Brain Control, he's 1800, I have no idea what he does. Miss MST, Card Trooper, Hyper Hammerhead. Goblin Attack Force is a classic. I'll play this any chance I can get. We get Goblin Attack Force? I did. Wow. 
Jar of Avarice, Threatening Roar, Negate Attack, a Normal Jane, and a oh, Megamorph. I tell you, my day was pretty much just to not die. And in these random lives, like, we don't know what we're gonna get, but anybody that's played any old school Yu-Gi-Oh, you know that a lot of times, the big monster wins. So the whole point of my deck was either it was to stall the big monsters and to find a way to get them off the field. Um, Babble Booms because you know they float and they can fix my hand because we're playing random decks. So your, our hands are never. There's no such thing as a good deck. I mean, good hand in this type of deck. <laughs> I had a spellcaster package, like. Oh what? <laughs> just because I want to, like keep monsters on the board. Um, this we, we're not playing any time rules, but I'm like just in case we get really close, if I can like cheese out a win. Uh, these are my quote unquote like my boss monsters. Uh, everybody who knows this does know this normal summon or it's a normal summon and it's really good. These are my spells. I didn't have a lot of spells. The, the lot just didn't give me a lot of spells. There was no rules how many of these I could play. This is like the most busted card in Yu-Gi-Oh to this day still. So Regeki Break, Sakurasu Armor, Bomb and Trap Hole. Um, and then last but not least, uh, MVPs if, if it mattered was a full play set of Dino Fiscus. <laughs> Once again, the name of the deck is Do Not Die. So all in all, um, wow. final thoughts on this was just fun, interesting. His face is like hilarious. To Get me, that camera out of my face, man. It's a random lot. Everybody knows when it comes to random things, I'm really good at it. And to be fair, it's really just what, 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 all, you get, what all you get. And I got down Miscus and Arch being like. I was unprepared. Um, there were decisions I probably, I could have made that uh, might have helped the situation. But uh, I mean, he built a strong deck. What can I say? Um, no such thing. All right, cool. Well, if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, sub. Do this with your friends. Yeah. All right, and we'll see you guys next time where we maybe do this again. If you guys like it. Yeah. it was cool. I thought it was cool. Next time we did two out of three. Yeah. With a side dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>